Welcome to our one of Christmas presentation of God keeps his promises. God has used his people. God had promised his people that he would send them a Savior, a Messiah. God used prophets to get his messages to the people. Two of the prophets were Isaiah and Micah. They did not know that the Savior's name would be Jesus, but they knew that he was coming. God gave these two messages to Isaiah. For unto us the child is born, unto us the son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulder, and his name will be Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Therefore, the Lord Himself will give you a sign. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel. God told the prophet Micah where the Savior was to be born. But you, Bethlehem, Ephrathah, though you are little among the thousands of Judah, yet out of you shall come forth to me the one to be born in Israel, whose going forth are from of old from everlasting. years have passed since God gave these messages to Isaiah and Micah. Would God really keep these promises? God, God sent the angel Gabriel a village in Galilee, he appeared to a virgin named Mary, who was engaged to be married to Joseph. Discovering that his future wife was expecting a child, Joseph was troubled. Then the angel also appeared to Joseph in a dream. Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take you, Mary, your wife, for that which is the is of the Holy Spirit, and she will bring forth a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. Galilee into the city of out of the city 
Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea into the city of David, which is called Bethlehem because it was the home and lineage of David to be registered with Mary, his betrothed wife, who was with child. So it was, while they were there, the days were completed for her to be delivered. So she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling cloths and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. Now there were in that same country shepherds living out in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. And they were greatly afraid. Then the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. For born to you this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be the sign to you. You will find a babe wrapped in swaddling cloths, lying in a manger. And there is suddenly with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts, praising God, saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace and will towards men. So it was when the angels had gone away from them into heaven, that the shepherds said to one another, Let us now go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has come to pass, which the Lord has made known to us. And they came with haste, and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. Now when they had seen him, they made widely known the saying which was told them concerning this child. And all those who heard it marveled at those things which were told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. Then the shepherd returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard seen, as it was told them. About the time that Jesus was born in Bethlehem, some wise men from eastern lands arrived. The star they had seen in the east guided them to Bethlehem. It went ahead of them and stopped over the place where the child was. They bowed down and worshipped him. They gave him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. So God had kept his promise given to the prophet 700 years before. For God so loved the world. concludes our brief little program for the evening. We, as parents, we just want to say on behalf of the Awana program that we appreciate you sharing your kids with us um, throughout this part of the year. And our program will continue after Christmas. I think we're taking a two-week break, um, and they'll have some time off. And, but I think we resume on January the 4th. But we want to say thank you very much, and we pray this will be a blessed Christmas season for you. Uh, one of the things, any thought to leave you with tonight, one of the names that was given to Jesus or title was Emmanuel. And Emmanuel means God with us. And tonight, we, that's our prayer for you, that God will be with you during this Christmas season. But as we conclude tonight, uh, before we express our thanks to these children, can we bow our heads in prayer? Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for this Christmas season that we can remember how you sent the greatest gift ever given into the world. Lord, uh, thank you for these children and their parents and their families. God, thank you that uh, through this Awana program, Lord, they are uh, endeavoring to learn about who you truly are um, as Lord, the Lord and the Savior of their lives, God. Father, we pray for all the families that are here tonight and for those who could not be here. Father, we pray that uh, you would indeed be Emmanuel to all of us, Lord, in this room. Father, thank you for these children. Thank you for loving them, Lord, and thank you for allowing them to be here. Again, Lord, we thank you for their parents, and we pray for their grandparents, and we just pray that your hand of blessing would be upon them in this Christmas season. Lord, we love you. Thank you for loving us, Father. We ask now that you go with us and bless us time of fellowship together. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. We'd like to invite you. We're having a